Good morning. I'm actually feeling pretty ambitious today. I'm thinking I'm gonna get out here and do some yard work, which I haven't done in a while. This area over here by the chicken coop has really grown up and needs some attention. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. A lot of the uh, bushes where I'd cut earlier in the year are growing back up. I cut down a tree here. It's all bushed out. My limb pile needs to go. I need to do some trimming over here. Definitely a lot of uh, trimming. It's grown up quite a bit. And then I need to do something about this pile. Justice was in it this morning, walking around in it. She's frequent, uh, frequently at night when she comes in, she's limping. So the chipmunks probably have holes in here to get in and out. And I have put it off way too long. I just need to do something with this. So this is my chore today to get this area cleaned up and cut back. I'm gonna start off by checking on my greenhouse though because it's 66 degrees and uh, I don't hear the heater running. So hopefully it's cut itself off. But I'm gonna go in and look at the temperature, check and make sure that the plants have plenty of water. And uh, whew, there's a lot of moisture on the outside of this. This is good. I love this. It is warm in here. Oh, it is nice. Yeah, the heater's not on. And my glasses are fogging up. And it's over 90 degrees in here. So this is good. So I shut off on its own. Everything looks nice. So, very happy with my greenhouse right now. It's actually pretty warm in there, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave the door open so it uh, has a little bit of ventilation because like I said, it's 11 o'clock, it's 66 degrees and it's over 90 degrees in there. So I'm gonna leave it open for a little while. I'll come back and check it later. Good morning, Todd. Good morning, little red hen. I've uh, quickly discovered the limitations of that Ryobi. So uh, it's uh, not happy trying to cut through these um, roots that I've got sticking up out of the ground. So I may have to go get the uh, shovel and dig them up. That's probably my only option. So I'm gonna pull out my uh, weed eater with the metal blade and I'm gonna go through here and cut everything else down as best that I can and then pick up there's a lot of work that I have to do out here, so <laughs> keep watching.
I had to stop for a minute. I just saw one of my hens jump out of one of these old beer, I'm sorry, bee boxes, beehives that are stored over here. I haven't looked in it, so I'm gonna switch the camera around and look and see if she's been laying eggs in there. Cause I have been getting six, seven and eight. So let's see what we find. All right. No, I don't see anything. No. That's good. All right. No eggs. That's great. I'll be getting to this one of these days. I probably would have gotten in here sooner and cleaned up if I knew those beehives were still in good shape, but they're not. They're rotting. So, again, a project for another day. <laughs> as soon as I left, those two started going through those leaves. I think that's a hen paradise. I can't wait to see what the other chickens do when I let them out. trying to get her a chipmunk. She has done this the entire time I have been out here. I think she's tired. I got a lot more done than I thought I would, and it was a little bit harder. Well, actually I knew it was gonna be hard. Um, I wore out fast, but uh, I'm gonna call this done for the day. Uh, I got almost all of it up. I got a little bit more work to do, but I'll do that tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. I'm gonna let the chickens have at it, pick through it. They seem to be enjoying it. And then we'll start this process all over again tomorrow. So if you wanna come see what I do in my next video, like, subscribe, hit that notification button, leave a comment, that'd be great. I'd love to hear from you. You guys have a great day.